Well, hey guys, kind of a... Uh, a little short video today. I was just looking around for something to do a video on and I saw this very cool vintage, not Kenner, PAL Toys uh, Star Wars store display. And uh, you know, I can't really do a 20 minute video on a display, but I thought you guys would really enjoy this because it's really rare. Um, actually, there's two of them. This one's rare, and the other one's even extremely rare because I can probably find no pictures of the other one. So there's not really much I can say about this thing, but I, I figured you guys would like to see the picture, especially if you're into the PAL toys or Kenner toys. And there's some unusual things about this display. For one, Luke Skywalker Bespin has white hair. And there seems, like I said, there seems to be two different ones. The one I'm going to look at today is the one I call the Falcon one because it has the Falcon on display. But there is another one that has an X-Wing and a Vader TIE Fighter. But it's so rare, I only can find one picture of it right here. You can see it's pretty grainy looking. So let's take a look at this British toy display uh, with the Falcon inside. Again, inside is Star Wars PAL toy action figure. This display was done by a company according to a label called NJ Farmer Association. Sounds like a company that would grow corn or wackadoodles. Not so want to make store displays for Star Wars fans. The circle based disc is enclosed in a quarter shaped dome. And like I said earlier, there's something very odd about the figures inside. One, I mentioned the Bespin Luke with white hair. Although you can't hardly see it in these photos, he does have white hair. One thing you will notice right away is the Darth Vader action figure is holding a white lightsaber. Now it's believed that some of these figures were hand painted by NJ Farmer Association. But why would they paint these figures? It's not like Palatoy would have sent them over to them unpainted or prototypes. I mean, the Darth Vader was out since 1978. Now this was to promote the Empire Strikes Back, but I really doubt these Empire figures inside were prototypes. The painting on the Princess Leia also looks a little different, but I can't tell if it's just faded over time. This display was sent as a loaner to selected retail toy stores. That must have been a very limited selection, as only a few of these have ever been found. This one here we're looking at was sold recently at a Sullivan's auction, and sold for a little over $7,000. It was said to be found in a toy shop in Tamby, wherever that is, where it had been sitting for years on a top shelf collecting dust. The toy, yes, because it had just been sitting gathering dust for 35 years in Wales, in a top shelf of a toy shop. So, and I've looked everywhere and I can't find another example. Um, but they were, must have made, you know, a dozen, I don't know how many were made back in 1983, but you would have thought they under license they would have made several handmade these things. But uh, the Millennium Falcon doesn't exist, I can't find any model like that. So it's all been put together, especially for this display. So I think it's really exciting if you collect uh, toys to have something like that. A while back another one of these was found, but the laser cannon for the Falcon had fallen off and landed by Greedo. But the Celebes auction one is almost perfect. Sadly, that's about all I can tell you about this display. But I thought maybe a lot of you out there have never seen it and would like to take a look at it. Or maybe you know more about it than I do, or more that I could find out. If you do, if you know more about it, maybe why the figures are painted, why Luke has white hair, or anything else, let it me know in the comments below. And I guess until I find something else to ramble about, this is going to be a short video, but until I come back with another video, please subscribe to the channel, thumb up so I know you like my content. Okay, I really didn't like how I ended this video. So let's take a look at this rare picture of Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker. It's not very often now that I find a picture from Star Wars that I say, hey, I don't remember ever seeing this. But here's one here. I don't remember this one at all. I've seen it before, but I don't remember it. Well, as I was trying to say, please subscribe to the channel, thumb up so I know you like my content, and we'll talk again soon. Junk Man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.